Hey everyone, today we will be starting our new chapter on the lacrimal system. So before we get into any diseases, first we need to understand the anatomy and physiology relevant to the lacrimal system, right? So here's a, okay, here's a little uh, diagram I, 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 I tried to make on, uh, on, the, on Microsoft Paint. The lacrimal system has basically two components, right? There's the component which is secreting stuff and there's the component which is draining the secreted stuff outside, right? This gland up here, which is uh, which, which does majority of the work, which produces tears, that gland is called the lacrimal gland. There are two other glands as well, uh, the glands, the gland of Wolfring and, and the gland of Cross. We'll be studying this, uh, we'll be reading this in the, in, in the theory in the next slides. So, uh, so, so the lacrimal gland here, let me label this as an L. So the lacrimal gland here, it, it, uh, it's an exocrine gland, right? It has ducts and there are like 10 to 12 ducts. I, I drew like five or six here, maybe. 10 to 12 ducts, uh, they, they pierce the conjunctiva, right? Uh, let me tell you where. Uh, so, so here's the eye, here's the eye. I keep drawing this diagram again and again. And, and we have the, we have the, uh, okay. We have the conjunctiva, right? Uh, covering here, here's the fornix. Here's the conjunctiva again, here's another fornix, right? Fornix uh, is this place where it curves. This is corner kind of place, right? Uh, and and, and uh, this gland over here, the lacrimal gland is here, right? And its ducts, it penetrate through the cornea, through the upper fornix, right? The superior fornix and they deposit their tears here and when we blink we open and close our eyelids that causes the tear the tears to distribute all over uh, the eyelid right so lacrimal gland producing tears which come here right and they deposit all over the eye and then because it keeps secreting uh, tears and they don't fall over so it there must be some drainage system or some collecting system which is taking everything away so what happens is that you see these little uh, pipe kind of things right canals these are called the uh, canaliculi right canaliculi actually means small canals so these are called the lacrimal canaliculi right and these lacrimal canaliculi open up here into these structures these holes are actually called uh, the the lacrimal puncti right p-u-n-c-t-i these holes are called the lacrimal puncti right and these holes uh, and these these pipes uh, or these canals are called the lacrimal canal canaliculi right these lacrimal canaliculi join together right and then they deposit the tears into this big old sac this sac is called the lacrimal sac or it's even called the nasolacrimal sac remember this is the eye right and over here we do have the nose right and and these tears these tears when they are collected by uh, the when they go inside through the puncti uh, and and through these uh, uh, nasolacrimal canals all the way into the nasolacrimal sac from the nasolacrimal sac they have a connection with the nose right and they these tears these tears essentially drop into the nasal cavity but not but but thank god thank god they don't come out of our, our nostrils they deposit quite towards uh, the posterior side and we just swallow them without even knowing right so production system drainage system right uh, yeah so glands uh, as i said the main lacrimal gland which we were discussing right now lacrimal gland if you really want uh, it has two parts it has the main it, it there is the main lacrimal gland the, or the or it has the orbital part right which we just we were discussing there is also a little small part called the palpebral part right palpebral part uh, means it's within the uh, related to the eyelid right palpebral part and orbital part if you really want to know they are the parts of the lacrimal gland and the nerve supply of the lacrimal gland is uh, important, especially the secretomotor part, right? So, nerve supply of the, uh, the the main lacrimal, it's a gland, right? And a gland always, just like a muscle, it requires a command to work. And so this command is actually supplied by the facial nerve through the parasympathetic autonomic nervous system. Remember, whenever we talk of secretions, mostly it's the parasympathetic system, which is which is active, right? So 
facial nerve ha uh, facial nerve uh, has a sensory part and a motor part and a and a parasympathetic part as well right and the parasympathetic part of the facial nerve actually supplies the main lacrimal gland causes and and, and it causes it, it causes uh, lacrimation right it is the it its function is secreto motor right it also get a gets a sympathetic autonomic nervous system supply and that is vasomotor right it can it, it kind of uh, vasomotor means it, it acts on the vessels right on the blood vessels inside the main lacrimal gland it's a sensory uh, supply to the main lacrimal gland uh, is through the ta through the branches of uh, trigeminal nerve right and then uh, we have the main lacrimal gland right it has two parts and then we have accessory lacrimal glands as well they include the glands of they include the glands of cross glands of wolf ring as well right so the tear drainage system as we discussed we had the lacrimal canalicula we had this lacrimal puncti right uh, these holes, uh, they, they they would receive uh, these tears right into these canals, lacrimal canaliculi. They would connect together, right, uh, and then they would deposit into this lacrimal sac, right. So lacrimal puncti, these holes, lacrimal canaliculi, these canals, right, uh, and nasal lacrimal sac right here, right. Easy, nothing so difficult about that. Uh, we studied it. Then comes the interesting topics. Let's have a proper view of how uh, what is uh, how how the tear. Uh, film actually looks like so it has three layers the mucous membrane layer uh, the aqueous layer and the lipid layer we, we all know that because uh, because it uh, the tear film has uh, the uh, the mebum right uh, from the mebomian gland so it'll have a lipid layer as well because it also gets tear, tears uh, uh, from the lacrimal gland it'll have an aqueous layer as well and we also know that because it's uh, because the tear film is actually deposit, deposited on the conjunctiva so it is in contact with the mucous membrane layer of the conjunctiva let me sh let me tell you, let me let me elaborate what i mean uh, but if you understood you can move forward i think that will be enough presentation is finished oh no wait we have functions okay uh, stay for a while um, um okay let's have a black screen here so what we will see is that um, we have this layer of cells right uh, okay it's, it's really difficult to draw now sometimes uh patients 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 right uh, layer of cells right uh, this is a part of the cornea right uh, sorry, yes, sorry, the conjunctiva. This is a part of the conjunctiva, and deposited on this conjunctiva, let's give it a proper color, is the layer of water, the aqueous layer, right? So, conjunctiva, upon the conjunctiva, we, uh, uh, we have the aqueous layer, right? And this aqueous layer, as, as I mentioned in, 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 in previous videos, it is preserved by the secretion of the mebumin gland. Right, and that secretion is uh, is is fatty. It's it's full of fatty acids. So let let's give that a yellow color, right? Uh, as a result, this is lubricated. Uh, this 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 layer cannot really evaporate so easily with the fatty layer above it, the, the oily layer above it. So that's basically that's it, right? So the tear film is composed of three parts: uh, the uh, the mucus layer, right? The mucous membrane layer which is actually the cornea a part of the outermost part of cornea then we have the watery layer secreted by the lacrimal gland then we have the uh, the uh, lipid layer which is secreted by mebumian gland right one two three three layers right mucous membrane aqueous layer lipid layer easy and functions okay uh, uh, function of the lacrimal system right uh, the, it makes the anterior corneal suffer, surface smooth and regular for refraction right so there are no there is no like rough edges to to bend the light in a different way so it's smooth it it properly bends it, it properly transmits light it prevents the drying up of the cornea right and it supplies oxygen to the corneal epithelium remember the cornea does not have any blood vessels it does not have any blood supply another function of the lacrimal system is it prevents infection due to presence of antimicrobial system specifically the enzyme called the lysozyme right so lysozyme is an enzyme right and it destroys the cell walls of, of it punches holes in the cell wall of bacteria and cell walls of bacteria it serves as a medium for the removal of debris and it lubricates the cornea and the added interface and that's it nothing so difficult right uh, and in the next in the next uh, few uh, lectures uh, uh, 
uh, we will be talking about the diseases of the both the secreting system and the drainage system as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and share if you think it's worth it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.